What's up, y'all? So last night I was just chilling. I was real chill, just minding my own business, and some news dropped on me that once 2023 rolls around, the filet fish is going to disappear off of the McDonald's menu here in Korea. Now, that kind of irked me a little bit because we it just had a reemergence. I'll get into the history a little bit later, but it's going to be gone, and I decided to get five filet fishes just to, you know, either get sick of them or go out with a bang so I don't regret it. Because once it, you know, once it disappears, I'll be craving it. I know I'm going to have some cravings. And it's not like I eat them all the time. I did do a video when it first made us come back, I believe last year at some point. Um, and I haven't done another video on them, but I've eaten them quite a few times just off camera. And it's something that it's probably not my top three, maybe not even top five McDonald's menu items. But like I said, man, once it's gone, if you can't eat a certain food, like you just, it just doesn't exist. The cravings hit different. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I paid $17.62 for these five filet of fish and we're going to just be cracking into them. I might get sick of them after eating like two or three of them. Who knows? But I don't think, I, I don't know. I think I can take down all five of them. We'll see. These are hot, seemingly fresh. I'm guessing the orders for these kind of are going up these days because they're disappearing along with I think like a corn pie, which I don't care about, and maybe something else as well, but this is the thing that I, I'm gonna be sad about it. So, if you've never seen a filet of fish let me just show you real quick. It is an absolute classic, just the classic bun. You lift it up, you got some tartare sauce, and then you got the fish patty underneath, and then like a half slice of cheese on the bottom, which I'm on two minds about this. I, I wish they had more cheese but also i real I, I think it's cool that they're only using half cheese it makes it kind of unique anyway go on in the last time i had a filet of fish was probably at least probably two three months ago and it's tasty man if you i, I don't know if you never had it it's definitely worth trying. Here's a cross section. I mean, this thing is flaky. It's warm. It's just, it's nice, man. Like even if you don't like fish, you might like this ish. It's a real easy eat. Easy eat. It just goes down the hatch, goes right down the gullet. The cheese, Honestly, I think it's just there. For me, the uh, the prevailing flavor I'm getting is that obviously the fish and that tartar sauce, which I'm, I love the tartar sauce, man. Ah. All right, one down, number two, go in. Mmm. This reminds me, like the flavor reminds me of fish sticks, which I used to eat as a kid. I probably haven't had them since I was probably seven, eight years old. Pop them in the oven, eat them with, I probably had them with ketchup when I was a kid, but sometimes tartar sauce, probably if I ate them at school. Um, but it's just that like very easily palatable kind of fish flavor. Mm. All right, so let me speak on this um, the situation over here in Korea. I don't know the details. As far as I know, it just it got dropped like a bomb on us. That is disappearing. I think the filet of fish kind of has a cult following worldwide. It's kind of a niche or niche kind of product for McDonald's, but. It's got as, as loyal followers. Like, I feel like if you asked anybody what their favorite McDonald's item was and they answered with filet of fish it's immediately a little bit sus. And you'd be like, nah, for real though, what is it? And if they are serious about it, then you're, mm, you might want to keep them on your radar. But anyway, it's, it's a niche thing. 
All right. And, and the same over here in Korea. I saw like a Facebook group dedicated to people in Korea who wanted to bring back the filet fish So as far as I know, it was first introduced in Korea in 1988, I believe, which I think, don't quote me on this, that was when the, I want to say the Olympics were in Seoul, so maybe that had something to do with it. That might have nothing to do with it, but I think it was introduced in 1988. It was had a 20-year run. It disappeared in 2008, mysteriously, and then it was revived in 2021 last year and I guess the only thing I can think of is the the sales aren't that high here or or something though It's a damn shame though. I'm not even close to getting tired of these yet. I could probably take down 10 if I really wanted to. Maybe I should have gotten more, but it is what it is. I don't know the next time I'll be able to get my hands on one of these, so I thought five would do it, but. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about. And, and I'm sure a lot of you guys know, too, if you've ever left, um, you know, where you grew up or even you never left your hometown, but a certain restaurant that you love shut down or something like when you can't get your hands on a certain food, sometimes it'll, you'll get that pang of like, damn, I want that. And you just can't get it. And they kind of get you getting your feels about it. And it's just like, it's crazy. I guarantee you. If I moved to, let's just say back to America and lived in a place that they didn't have any Korean food, I guarantee you I'd be craving it. Whereas I, I eat Korean food probably at least maybe once a week, mostly like pretty much all the time off camera. Sometimes more than that, sometimes multiple times a week. Um, but my, obviously like I eat more probably Western food or American food than Korean food. And I could go probably a month or two months easy here in Korea, not eating Korean food. But if I move back to America and I can't get it, I would be craving it. And I'd probably drive to like a Korean grocery store and get like, I think a kimchi and like gochujang and rice and, and just be eating it for a snack. which actually happened to me once. So the first time I came to Korea was, I did like a eight to 10 month stint. I forget exactly, I think it was about 10 months. Back in like 2012, 2013, I went back to America and like, I remember just eating kimchi and rice, just like straight up, which is fine. I mean, nothing wrong with that, but I would never do that these days. I probably haven't eaten like that ever when I'm actually in Korea, you know? I have access to it. I can eat Korean food whenever I want. I can go to a restaurant and get free kimchi and rice like at any restaurant around here. So, um, yeah, well, I mean, where I lived, there was no like Korean, uh, Korean restaurant, no Korean like Asian grocery stores. So I got a big old thing, of kimchi, like a jar of kimchi and we'll just cook rice and eat it like that. I remember like for lunch, like on the daily. And then the next year in 2014, I came back. I also remember watching a lot of, during that time, watching a lot of um, K dramas, like Korean dramas, Korean TV, just on the internet back in America. And if there's one thing that I, you'd almost have to pay me to watch, not really, but 
Korean TV. I, I just, I'm not into it. I don't, don't have TV service. Or maybe I do, I just don't. I didn't set up the box. All I watch is like YouTube and, and like movies. But I haven't watched a Korean TV show in freaking years. But I bet you if I moved back to America, I'd be watching them online. Just to get that, that taste back, you know? Maybe it has something to do with the fact that I've been here for so long. And it's like, it is what it is. I've, I've learned more about Korea and, or just, you know, adapted to it, got more used to it. But I do feel like if I went back, I'd really start to embrace it more. Which, I mean, at the end of the day, that just show, goes to show that, you know, it's it's a, the age old saying, like, you don't take stuff for granted. You, you won't really realize what you had until it's gone, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's why I'm eating these uh, five filet fishes because here in about one week, they're going to be gone. And honestly, I'm not even close to sick of these. I want, I'm craving more right now. So that was kind of a fail. I should have gotten at least eight. But hopefully here in about 20 minutes, my brain will catch up to my stomach. Or is it the other way around? Anyway, I'll be satisfied. But anyway, that's about it for this video. Just a, a simple one, you know, just, you know, chilling. You know, we chill. Eating some flail fish and uh, just shooting the ish. All right, so I'm skating. Thanks for watching. Don't be a bitch. <laughs> that's stupid. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.